in similar way the carbon dioxide diffuses out of the body through the insect through the orbit so then i am going to discuss respiration through skin and respiration through air tubes will be complete and then i am going to discuss respiration through gills so what happens in respiration through gills aquatic organism breathe in dissolved oxygen from water aquatic organism that means organism which live in water or called aquatic organism then aquatic organism breathe in oxygen which is dissolved in water then amount of dissolved oxygen in water is very low as compared to the amount of oxygen present in air amount of oxygen dissolved in water is very low as comparing oxygen present in the air so therefore the rate of breathing of aquatic organism is fast as compared to that of the terrestrial animal that means the rate of breathing of aquatic organism rate of breathing of aquatic organism is fast as compared to rate of breathing of that of terrestrial animal that means aquatic organism breathe very fast and terrestrial organism breathe they as compared to stools then gills are the respiratory organ of aquatic organism like fishes prawns and mussels gills are gills are the respiratory organ organs gills are the respiratory organs in aquatic organism like fishes prawns and mussels there are the four gills on each side of the head is separated from each other by gill slits so try to understand how aquatic organism breathe inside of water so i'm telling that gills are the respiratory organ in aquatic organism what is the respiratory organ of aquatic organism the answer will be gills so there are four gills not one two three there are four gills on each side of the head separated from the each other by gill slits that means there are four gills present on the side of the head which is separated by the gill slits so the water taken in by fish is a forced past the gills that is water taken in by the fish that means water which fish took they force to the gills and then which is applied with the blood capillaries the blood capillaries help in the absorption of oxygen dissolved in water then water will be contact in blood capillaries blood capillaries are which is supplied with blood and that blood capillaries take oxygen dissolved oxygen from the water and at the same time carbon dioxide also mixes with them and that will be out of the body so the blood capillaries have the absorption of oxygen dissolved in water in this way more than 80% of available oxygen in water is absorbed by this way most of the oxygen will be absorbed by the organism absorbed by the fishes the hemoglobin then transport oxygen at all parts of the body after that hemoglobin are transported to all parts of the body in the fish then the removal of carbon dioxide also occurs that is blood containing waste material or carbon dioxide reaches the gills and carbon dioxide from the blood diffuses out of the water by this so my expression about respiration through skin air tubes and after that i am going to describe respiration through lungs so what happens about respiration through lungs let us see so in respiration through lungs what happens in respiration through lungs the respiratory organ in land animals what happens in the respiratory organs of land animals such as amphibian 
land animals or amphibian lizard birds and humans have lungs once again try to understand which which organism have lungs and they use lungs for their respiration process so respiration respiratory organ in land animals such as amphibian lizard bird and humans all respiratory organs lungs so lungs have several alveoli alveoli or tiny balloon like air sacs what are alveoli try to understand alveoli are the balloon like tiny air sacs so alveoli are tiny balloon like air sacs that are sun at the site of gaseous exchange so site of gaseous exchange water that means lungs lungs are the site of gaseous exchange after this i am going to describe differences between respiration in plants and respiration in animals so what happens in respiration in plants and respiration in animals let us see how they are differentiate with each other so all parts of the plant such as root all parts of the plant such as root stem leaf flower and bud take part in respiration all parts of the plant such as stem leaf flower and bud take part in respiration but what happen in animals animals respire through certain respiratory organs only rate of respiration is slow in plants and rate of respiration is a high in animals breathing does not occur in plants in plants breathing does not occur but in animals breathing took place in animals and in plants exchange of gases took place to stomata and in animals exchange of gases took place through lungs so this is my explanation about exchange of gases in animals respiration through skin respiration through air tubes and gills respiration through lungs the differences between respiration in plants and respiration in animals all the my explanation about this this is respiration through animals so i think that you understood very well what i have explained in front of you if not understood contact my whatsapp number and i will you confirm this much enough